Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. CQ Calling is back, powered by MFJ. Welcome to Ham Radio Live. It's been a long time since we've done this show. We kind of did one yesterday, and then it accidentally deleted. Sorry. It's human error. Welcome to today's show. Glad to have you. Hope you caught the earlier one with Boyd Farrington. Man, that was such a great show. I want to thank the Newbury and District Amateur Radio Society and, of course, Lloyd Farrington, Mike Five, Lima Delta Foxtrot for a show I will never forget. I'll always love it. From the far winds of the world, wherever you're coming from, today's Saturday, November 13th, 2021, and away we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Shack. A little different. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about headphones and, you know, boom mics like this and foot toggles, you know, foot switches and finger toggles, those kind of things. I have both. And, and you know, I like the foot toggle better, foot switch, I should say better, more than the finger, finger toggle because a foot switch keeps both hands free. And that makes it easier if you're going to make calls and try and make calls to people who are really weak, you know, makes it simple. So whole purpose of why we're here is to help you get an amateur radio. That's why we're here and hopefully make it fun for you. I can't promise a QSO today, but I'll promise I'll do my best. The antennae is working and it's getting out, but it's a matter of can people hear it? Are they listening? We want to get you into ham radio first, though. Find a local radio club. But to do that, you're going to need to get a hold of a national one first, okay? Try the Radio Society of Great Britain at www.rsgb.org. Make sure and hit the Contact Us bar. They'll send you a radio club close to you. Contact that club. Then they'll help you get licensed. That's how it works, okay? If you're in the United States or you want to contact this club instead, the American Radio Relay League at www.arl.org. Great club, and they do a lot of work to help their members. Find them, hit them at the Contact Us bar to let them help you get into ham radio. In Canada, the Radio Amateurs of Canada, www.rac.ca. In Japan, the Japan Amateur Radio League at www.jarl.org. In Australia, the Wireless Institute of Australia at www.wia.org. If you'd like to email the show, hit me up with a question, a suggestion, or a comment, please feel free. CQ, Ham Radio Live at gmail.com. Welcome to today's show, CQ Calling, powered by MFJ. Been a while since we've done one, and grateful to be here. Of course, you can tell a little bit different up top. And I don't mean hair, so, yeah. Um, we'll talk about headphones and stuff today a little bit because, you know, it's important to talk about the different ways to work a ham radio, right? Okay. Okay. So you can use, obviously ham radios all come with a hand mic and these are great. The quality of them are fantastic. You can make them sound brilliant. They're fine. No problem. Okay. If you're going to work, I think a contest or if you're planning to work something that you can, you want to hear really well, weak conditions, maybe it's a little problem, right? A set of headphones with a mic is good. And the reason why, and you can easily use a finger toggle or a foot switch. Either one will work. I like the foot switch because both hands then are free to write down the call sign and concentrate on logging it. That's why I like to use a foot switch. It's up to you. There's no wrong way to do this, okay? So what we'll do is we'll see if we can make some calls. Say it's contest weekend, so that means there's always going to be people on the bands. So if we can't make calls, we'll simply just make calls to people who are trying to work a contest. Yeah, works that way. What I do before I start, and I do want to get to a question that was asked yesterday. It was a good question. It was from a, a newer ham. He asked about running an antenna under a tree limb. Excuse me. And he talked about it working or not working. It'll definitely work. It really will. The key is height. For antennas, height is might. Always. Height is might always works. Remember that saying, height is might. The higher you get the antenna, the better it will be. So if you're running a wire antenna, I always think 40 meters, you want to be at least 40 feet. It's just a good number. Remember, 40, 40. And then on the ends, if you're using like an off-center fed or a center fed dipole, Try and try and get the radiators, meaning the ends out as high as you can. The better, you know, the higher, the better. It's the way it works. If you're trying to work 20 meters, 25 feet, 30 feet will be fine. It'll be fine for daytime bands. You'll get a decent takeoff angle. But if you're at 40, you're going to get a lower takeoff angle to the ionosphere. Lower takeoff angle means greater distance and a better skip. It's just the way it works. So, all right, 
We'll see how it works today. First one in. I want to welcome my brother, Bob, courtesy of WIFI. First in. <laughs> welcome, Bob. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you downstairs, Bob. Thanks for coming, buddy. It's great to see you. Tom, all the way in Bahrain. It's 1.34 a.m. My goodness, Tom. Good morning. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for coming. It's really good to see you. It really is. We'll see if we can make some calls today. You never know, right? Uh, Tom missed the uh, national, sorry, the NAD ARS show. It was exceptional. Thank you, Tom. You know what? I think as long as I do these shows, that will stand out as my favorite. I think so. Because it was for kids and it was historic. And it was such a heartwarming story. What they did was brilliant. I was just touched and and honestly that Wayne you know Wayne I keep calling him Wayne Floyd got a, a hold of wow Floyd got a hold of me sorry my mind's working it's just my mouth is I'm really happy that Lloyd Farrington reached out to me because I did the segment on the Mary Hare school for the deaf you know making the contact and then that later that day he actually reached out to me and said I'm the guy that was on stage I was just wow really so thanks to him and the Newbury and District Amateur Radio Society for allowing him to come on. And, of course, the ARISS group and the ISS in uh, the sky floating overhead. Thank you. Hello, Sean. Two Echo Zero, X-Ray Bravo Tango. Hello to you all the way in the U.K. Good evening to you. It's very, very late your time. Sorry the show's a little late. Appreciate you being here. Talk to you about a few people that are coming and one that hopefully is soon. We're working on December 14th for Alex from W7HU. We couldn't make it last weekend in California because we just couldn't get Wi-Fi to work. However, we're looking to get Alex back, talk about his amateur radio channel, as well as what's going on in his life, you know, from Cuba. Coming here twice, trying to reach the U.S. legally from Cuba. It's a heartwarming story, and it's pretty cool to hear. Will Jordan from I Come North America comes up next Saturday at 1900 UTC. It will be at 8 p.m. in London. Sorry about that. So we got to change it to 20 UTC. So Alpha Alpha 4 Whiskey Juliet, Will Jordan 8. You got a question about ICOM rigs? Maybe going to buy one looking for a Christmas gift? He'll help you. He really will. Speaking of help, Richard Stubbs from MFJ, live with a discount code for you on Tuesday, November 23rd. This will be at 20 UTC. Remember, 20 UTC, the screen is wrong. 20 UTC. That's noon Pacific in North America, 3 p.m. in the Eastern time zone. Then coming up on Black Friday weekend, or known as Thanksgiving weekend here in the U.S., Fred Denon, Whiskey, Whiskey for Lima, Lima. He's got a program called BeLoud.us. It's very cool. You basically can connect with a PC or a Mac, Linux, yep, you can make calls, to one of, from one of the four or five, you know, super stations he has set up throughout the North American continent, as well as one in Bonaire in the Caribbean. You literally control the whole thing from the rotators in which direction the antennas are pointed to the power that's being you know put out of the radio to the radio itself. You control it all. And he'll tell you how. It's going to be a great show. Fred from BeLoud.us joins us on November 27th at 1900 UTC. Sorry, that's going to be, sorry, we'll make that 20 UTC. And I hope you enjoy that show. Then at 20 UTC, again, the screen is wrong. Matthew Missenmacher, known as CW Matt, Lima Union 2, Alpha Charlie Hotel. New app for your phone or tablet or your laptop called Super QSL. It's a great app. It, you know, you basically get a hold of him, let him know your call sign. He's going to verify you're a ham. And then once you are verified, you have full access to the Super QSO app. You can tell people what frequency you're on. You can let people know if you're planning maybe a soda or poda, that kind of stuff. Really cool. So we'll talk about that coming up here as the days get closer. Okay. One of the things that I look at when I start to work a radio, and I do this every time, it's just my way. It's not perfect, but it's my way. That's the way it is. <laughs> Sean, Never too late for Larry live. Bless your heart, Sean. Thank you. The check's in the mail. Thank you, my friend. Don Bush, Logan, Larry, and all on board today. I hope your missus is feeling better now. She's coming home early, so that's why I'm doing the show now and hurrying to get it done. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for being a part of the show. Whiskey Alpha 2, Tango Papa Uniform, a real QRP station. He doesn't go more than five watts, and he works off wind and solar. Don, it's a pleasure to have you, and thank you for coming. I mean that very much. And thank you for the comment. Fantastic show with Lloyd Rio. Mike 5, Lima Del Foxtrot. It'll be my favorite show of the bunch. It will. That was heartwarming. It really was. Okay. 
so working in radio, this is for new or soon to be hams, people who want to be in ham radio. It's important to know where to work when. That's important. We don't just turn on our ham radio and say, you know what, I'm going to just put on my radio here and it's the middle of the day and I'm, wow, 3.5, let's try there. Because look, you know, even if you bring up the reference, right, and there's going to be noise because this is a noisy bed, you'll find a few people out there, but they're not going to be farther than two or 300 miles away because it's you're 75, 80 meters. The D layer absorbs most of the signal and you're just not going to get far out. You won't. The signal won't go very far. You don't go on your radio to seven. That's 40 meters during the day because, again, the D layer absorbs so much of the signal. It's right about seven megahertz where the D layer stops affecting the signal, but it still has an impact. You're not going to get, usually daytime, more than five, six, seven hundred miles away. You won't. You need to be up on like 20 or 30 meters to start really getting out. That's where you start to get through the D layer and you start to make calls. So again, know where you want to work. Like in the U.S. right now, I've got to reset my reference so it's not looking like the radio's on fire. But, you know, know where to work. And there's ways you can do that before you get on the air. Okay, and I'll show you those things because this is important, okay? Turn my preamp off. Actually, one, so we'll be fine. All right, so there's ways to do this, and the way that I like to do it is to take a look at a MUF map, which means maximum usable frequency. Your maximum usable frequency is a big deal when it comes time to tell you, you know, where people are in the world, especially where people are near you, okay? So QRZ has a really neat thing. It's on their page. You turn it on, you see it all the time, okay? It'll tell you the solar flux index of 81 at the top left, your solar number of 35, A index of 3, K of 1, okay? The A index of 3 is good. K of 1 means it's quiet, a very quiet noise floor, so it shouldn't be too much static there on like 40 and 80 and all that. It shows you the BC latitude, which is basically the, uh, the way that the wind is blowing from the sun, which affects our ionosphere, all right? It'll tell you the degrees it's pointed at on the Earth. So right now it's a positive 1.2. That's good. That's why it's in green, okay? The solar wind is also in green. It's 313.2 miles per, uh, sorry, kilometers per second. If it was over 500 kilometers per second, it would be yellow because that means it's a heavy solar wind. Now it shows you the band conditions, but don't get suckered here. Don't, because it means that if you were to look at this and say 17 and 15 meters, both are poor, I can't work there. No, that's not true. You can work there. Look at an MUF map, okay? Let's take a look at the current one that's that's produced here on the screen from November 0, November Bravo Hotel, all right? Take a look. In Boulder right now, 21.23, which means that 15 meters is open. Okay, Jicamarca, Peru, down down South Australia, you know, in South South America, excuse me, at twenty five point eleven. Ascension Island is always strong. They are. They're always high numbers, forty two point five six. Athens, Greece, twenty point five five. These are all in megahertz, not in meter bands. Okay, Darwin, Australia, in the middle of the night, twenty three point nine megahertz means they're still on fifteen meters in some places. Nive, Australia, sorry, Nive Island, excuse me, ten point six nine. But you can go even farther into it. And I love this map. And thanks to my Kilo Delta 2 Sierra X-ray Delta for sending it to me. I think it's one of the best MUF maps that there are. If you look where you are in the world on this map, you'll know in megahertz what band you should be working. Now, we're going to try and zoom in just a little bit on like the part of North America where, where I am. And if you take a look, it's like 16 on the California coast and then 22. So it's kind of like you're between 17 and 15 meters where I'm located. But if you're in most of the United States, 21 megahertz, so you're working on 15, right? If you're in Texas, Louisiana, Florida, you're easily on not only 15, but 12. You get into the Caribbean, 30 megahertz, so you're up on 10. Okay. It really depends. Find out where you're at. Take a look on an MUF map like this. Again, if you want to know where this MUF map is, it is Kilo Charlie 2 Golf Map. Just type that in your search engine and you'll find it. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Let's take a good look at the 7610. And I'm going to be using these uh, headphones here to basically um, do this today because it'll help me hear better, but also keep my hands free. So my hope is to be able to do the show this way. And it's the first time. So if there are mistakes made, please, you know, do not kill the publisher here because it's my first time. Okay. 
Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right, let's turn the radio up. We'll see if we can, you know, see if we can blow a little smoke out there. We're on 15, which is borderline where I'm at here, according to the MUF map. However, I have seen some signals there. It's a contest weekend, so there'll be short communications between stations because they're just trying to rack up score. You see another one right over here? See the signal here? We're close to ones right here. Boy, sorry about that. RF game was too hot. Definitely a CQ contest call. And sorry, that was too loud. Just trying to catch it just a second. So we'll see if we can make some calls. And hopefully we can. And thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate it. This is just a show that I've been meaning to do for a while, but just have not. It's pretty weak. We'll see if we can tune him down. And there is a contest this weekend, by the way, for Japan. So, and there's lots of people working it. And I found out if I run through the headphone jack on the radio, you can't hear the audio, which makes it even worse. Sorry. And I have found that you will hear it better than I do on the YouTube stream. So this is challenging for me working this way. So give me just a little time. Again. Kilo three, Papa Alpha. There we go. That helped, right? Thank you, five nine. Roger, five nine, four, four. Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November. I don't know if you got me. Hold on. Yeah, it's going to be too hard to work him just for me right here in this condition. Nah, not going to work. So we'll simply bring down the reference so we can see better again, and we'll listen. And as we get lower, I'm sure we'll make better calls.
and they're not being. You're five nine of zero four. And you may not see, or, or you know, you may see the signal. I'm listening for it, not looking at it. I do try and bring this up just for visual for people, though. Seven three. Gunter, hello, and Don. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's very difficult to do this with just doing the show because I'm hearing it actually through the show's uh, audio delayed. It's kind of weird. We'll we'll pick it up. Hello, three Papa Alpha. Okay, so he's looking for he's looking for somebody in Japan, most likely. So, Japan. Hi, Gary. Good to see you. Whiskey Papa 9. Sorry, Whiskey 9. Papa Papa Yankee. Hey, buddy. You should don't go higher than 6 on noise reduction on this rig. Just don't. Move off just a skosh away from everybody and just quickly tune because there's nobody here. Not that I can hear, so we're okay. And we'll see if we make calls. So let me do this first. Let me, um, I'm in a place here where I'm not, haven't seen calls at, which is uh, 21296. Radio's tuned. We'll see if we make a few CQ calls. Just say hello. And if we can, great. If we can't, then, you know, we'll move. But we'll make some calls, I'm sure. Hopefully. Never could guarantee. Is this frequency available to Kilo 7 Hotel November? Sorry about that. You're getting some feedback. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. always check ALC, uh, SWR, and I want to check my power. We'll do the SWR and power here now. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, K7 Hotel November. Yeah, we're close. K7 Hotel November, QSY. Move up. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Someone there. See? And and this will happen because it's going to be later in the afternoon, and it's going to carry. 20 is going to carry well. Sorry, 15 is going to carry well this way. We've got a strong signal here. Let's just see if we can call. Japan, See, it's all Japan, and that's what we're hearing here on the West Coast. I think because most of these are going to be pretty, pretty dicey to hear for a radio show here. We're just going to move over to uh, we'll move over to seventeen because seventeen is a non-contest band, and lastly. There's people there. It's especially the people that don't want contests. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see if we make a call. It'd be fun to do that. And maybe say hello to you. Hopefully we can do that. I uh, did check. We're going well into California, well into the south. But uh, east, not so good today. I'm not sure why, but we'll, we'll see. So let me quickly tune. Looks like we're on somebody there. So we'll move over a little bit. All right, should be good here. Give me a second here. Okay. All right. Really been nice. Got out and 
successful to a, uh, uh, dinner uh, this evening, and uh, some friends that uh, bought a new house, and so uh, kind of a uh, housewarming at the same time, so I went out and uh, got a little something to take over there. So you can meet this radio so quiet. So it just can be so quiet. I enjoy 17 meters. Yeah, I agree, Anton. Good. Yeah, I'm going to go down, and, uh, see yeah, if we can do it. <laughs> Your contests really suck. Nice. Yeah, can yeah. you know, on. for the most part, I would say yes. 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 Yeah, period. It's good just to make calls, right? We just want to make calls, but we don't need to have to be tied down to a contest. Now, maybe we'll hear the other station bringing the noise reduction. Nope. So we're hearing the first station only. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's just move. I don't. I never trust being on the zeros because usually people try and grab those. And I don't want to step on anybody. I just don't. Okay. So let's try and see if we can get a CQ call to somebody. Hopefully we can. We'll bring down the noise reduction just because it's good. I want to move my bandwidth always. I'm going to try and bring it down to 2.7 because um, it's just a good bandwidth to work with. You're going to cut out some of the sound. It makes it better. So let's see if we can make it work, and hopefully we'll make a call or two. We'll see. Is this frequency available? This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Checking frequency availability, Kilo 7 Hotel November. CQ on 17, CQ 17, this is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station anywhere from the state of Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, this is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, K7 Hotel November, calling CQ to any station anywhere and listening. Tom, mine too. Mine too. I love 17. 17 is narrow, but you always find something good on it. It's like an old friend. Yeah. CQ 17, CQ. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ. Any station anywhere from Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ to any station anywhere and standing by. It's called a whole bunch of no such luck. Like I said, being heard in California on 40, which is good, but yeah, you want to go farther than that if you're in Oregon. All right, let's go QSY. Kilo 7, Hotel November, QSY. Got a signal here. Got a couple of them. And one there. <laughs> FT8, wrong one. There's a guy down here. He's close. And what's nice about 17 for people who are new to ham radio, this is not a contest band. So people who want to contest cannot use this frequency. And that makes it kind of nice, really, you know. I think of all the ham radio bands that are out there, 17 is my favorite. Just personal. It's personal taste. Yours can, yours can vary course but it's a fun band to work it's just narrow but you can do a lot with it and usually right around gray line it really works great it really can now that i went off band i'm spending my time talking to him paying attention to what frequency we run sorry all right 40 is going to be jammed. It will be. It's just there's so many people contesting on 40. So uh, we'll pull up the reference real quick, make sure I'm not tuning on somebody else, and uh, hopefully we aren't, and we'll make sure. So we're up high. I wanted to go up high if I was going to tune because personally it just, yeah, you're better to do it that way. You don't want to tune on top of somebody who is, you know, who is quite a bit lower. Just a second here. Perfect. Okay. All right. 
We'll try at 13, uh, sorry, 14.342 on 20, and we'll see. Because we're getting, what we're doing is we're shortening our distance. You know, we can be. Uh, both 20 and, and 17 will be good. So they should be comparable in terms of their distance. We'll see if it happens. Maybe you can hear. We'll see. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. And, you know, if you're going to work a, a, on 20 on a contest weekend, typically over 14, like one, like 315, you're good. I see someone's there. Just a second. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. around just to just make sure I'm not hearing anything. I'm not. There is somebody here look like kind of close. Right there. Here. That's why I don't like being on the fives. Right. Let's try it. CQ, CQ on 20. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ from Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ from the state of Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. K7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. And typically, when you do this, keep your noise reduction off. And the other thing is try and make sure your bandwidth is about 3 to 2.7. You're going to be fine if you do that. You know, if you go 2.7, see at the top, bandwidth, yeah, you'll be fine. We'll try one more, and then we'll move and try and make a call with somebody. CQ, CQ, from Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, from the state of Oregon, this is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilowatt 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. Kilo 7, Hotel November, K7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. Okay, hearing nothing, we'll go QSY and chase. Kilo 7, Hotel November, QSY. Have somebody right there. Yeah, good old-fashioned rag chew. Rod, you did? You heard me? I'm so grateful. Man, oh man. <laughs> That's good. Because, you know, I was wondering, honestly, when I before I cut the show, um, one of the things I did, and I haven't said this yet, one of the things I do is I will, excuse me, I will check a web SDR. I always do. I check web SDRs, and I'll put them on, and I'll listen for my signal. It's a good way to know where you're at if you're being heard, and you know, if you can hear yourself. It's a great tool. And from Utah, I heard zero. I just couldn't hear a darn thing. So, yeah. But in California, it was fine on 40. So, yeah, there you go. So, thanks for being here. I'm glad to hear that, Ron. Thank you. Rod is Whiskey 3, Mike Papa Golf. Thank you, my friend, for telling me. That makes me feel good. And by the way, thank you all for being here, too. Appreciate you being here. We're just using uh, the DX Commander Classic Vertical Antenna, which is a fantastic purchase for the money. You can't beat it for a vertical. It's great. Let's get back to the rig, and we'll take a listen. And we'll see if we can break in and say hello. You'll find a lot of your reg chew people will be above 14.3 uh, on 40, which is good, even during a contest weekend. Unless it's a huge contest, like Field Day or CQ Worldwide, those can be different. Like if you take a look here, right, and here, these are short bursts. 
Those are going to be CQ contests. CQ contests. See, these are going to be contesters. The people who are talking are going to be longer trails. It's another thing to look at on your waterfall. Kilo 7, Hotel November. It's Kilo 5, Delta, Lima, Kilo, or K5, Darn Little Kids in Mexico. <laughs> That's great. Kilo 5, Darn Little Kid. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Name is Larry, Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. QTH is Independence, Oregon. QSL? <laughs> Darn Little Kid. That's funny. And I don't know if you even heard me now. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, Roger, I've been reading the mail. Um, oh, the be in hearing long, me. I don't know, 30 minutes or so. so All right. Uh, I just wanted to make a comment on your uh, uh, QRZ page. There is uh, a photograph of your, your ham shack. And on the wall is a map of the United States, and it's a weather map. Is that an app, or is that... Okay. Uh, well, just asking questions. A, That's all right. Contester probably right there. And like I say, we're getting tons of the uh, Japan um, contest traffic here. So I think this is down a little bit. Contester should be here. And I'm just simply tuning now because we're going to see if we find a signal we can work. That's not contesting. <laughs> Tough to do these shows on wake at like a Saturday afternoon because most likely there's a contest going on, right? Activity there, like people are kind of not hearing each other. It's like, like me. There you go. Move here. To write you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 20 meter reg chip. It's good. Steve MC, good to see you. Gulf Juliet 7, Delta November India. Thanks for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Gunter, thanks. Yeah, I wish. What's good old wrong with the Shirley Basie? I'm not sure. You know, we're. Um, Feels that checked in maybe a little late using the Howl headsets today just because it's easier to use. For me, easier. Foot switch, both hands free, and I could turn down I could turn down the uh, the audio gear for YouTube so you don't hear the you know, the the feedback. That's why. So there you go. We'll see if we can make a quick call. We're probably gonna move on and uh, go down towards uh, you know, forty just to make calls. We'll see. Henry, nice to see you. Welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you. And yeah, half-wave infant is always a great option, especially if you're out in the field. My gosh, it's a great antenna. It really is. All right, we're going to quickly try and unload some of this noise reduction. 
and we're going to switch down to 40 because there'll be, you know, there'll be locals. We'll get some people that will be fairly close. I know we're being heard in California there, so we'll see how that goes. Just a second here. All right. Don't hear anybody so far, so we'll quickly tune. And we'll see if frequency is open. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Street News Now, welcome. First timer to the show. Thank you for coming. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, currently using a ICOM 7610 and the DX Commander Classic Antenna at 30 feet. So thank you. It's nice to nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Last check for Kilo 7, Hotel November. Is this frequency available, please? There's somebody just above me, but I think we're good enough. We can, you know, we'll do the nice thing. We'll go down one. Just to just to make sure we're not hitting them. All right, should be good. CQ CQ on forty. This is Kilo Seven Hotel November. Kilowatt Seven Hotel November calling CQ CQ CQ. Any station anywhere from the state of Oregon. This is Kilo Seven Hotel November. Kilowatt Seven Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, from the state of Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live, this is Kilo 7, Hotel November, K7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. CQ, CQ on 40, Kilo 7, Hotel November, Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ, CQ, from the state of Oregon and streaming on YouTube, this is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ to any station anywhere and listening. And again, CQ calls, keep in mind, you've got to have someone listening for them and willing to work them. And you got to hear them too. CQ, CQ, 40, Kilo 7, Hotel November, K7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ, CQ, from Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7, Hotel November, K7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. Yep. Okay. No such luck. By the way, Color Me OD is back. I just saw that. Hi, good to see you, my friend. As always for me, it's an honor. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. And Street News Now, thank you. Taking this technician license in the next two weeks. Best of luck to you. Keep in mind, hey, keep us in mind. Let us know how you do, okay? Seriously, that's important. That's what we're here for is to help people get licensed. Aaron from Wales is here. Mike Whiskey 7, Oscar Foxtrot Sierra, thank you for being here. And Don Bush, yes, good luck on the test of Street News Now. We want you to pass that ham radio license and get licensed. Absolutely. Yep. That's a big deal here. All right. Let's try and catch and see if we can work this signal. I'm not sure. Pretty low. Okay, here's a really good example. We had it yesterday. This is this. Ha I'm so glad this happened. Checking, uh, anyone else, Calgary area? This is a good example of a frequency we cannot work in North America. It's outside the band plan. Even amateur extra or advanced class, if you're you know a former advanced class person and still licensed as an advanced, in the U.S. and in Canada as well as Mexico and South America, we cannot work below 7.128 megahertz. Remember. 3 kilohertz down, lower sideband. So here's a frequency that is good for, like, Europe, people that are in Australia, things like that. Let's listen. Normally, uh, I wait till it's raining to do antenna work. I'm not sure how that works out, but it uh, seems to uh, be the situation. Thanks for taking the time to check from Empress. Uh, still looking for stations Calgary to Edmonton. Wow. Now that's interesting. Because he's outside the band plan. Victor Echo 
WRU, thanks for checking. And we also have Victor Alpha 6, Whiskey Victor, uh, go ahead. Yeah, in Canada, maybe they can go 7.1. Greg, nice to see you. Oh, my gosh, you had pneumonia? Holy crud, man. Oh, Greg, I'm, I'm hopeful you're feeling better. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I've had pneumonia. It is awful. I hope you feel better. And Anton, thank you very, very much. Yep, calling on 40, and uh, just I don't think you'll um, I don't think you'll hear me. I'm only on 100 watts here. I'm interested in finding out what the call sign is. Because all of IARU Region 1 is supposed to be below, you know, you can't work below 7.128. 6 Alpha Delta Mike, uh, anything for the net? And they're running a net here. This is just odd. Okay. Okay, got the QRU. Thanks for that. Uh, anyone else located Calgary to Edmonton? Huh. Okay, let's move north. Uh, Edmonton and north for the net. VE 7 DXE relay. W7 EXE. Hmm. In the province of Alberta. Okay. No. Okay. We'll just. Six Echo Tango Yankee first. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Thanks for checking. Anyone else, Alberta? Yeah. Maybe Canada can go 7.1. I guess. Because I yeah U.S. We can't do it. So we'll move on. It's a good lesson, people in the U.S. If you hear calls like that, you can't pick it up. You can't. Re you can listen, but you can't return it. You've got to be above 7.128. Doesn't matter what license you have. Seriously. Even the extras can't do it. So. <laughs> Smoking Ape is here. He's got a great YouTube channel, by the way. Check him out in the Smoking Ape. He has great teaching. Good reviews and a really good YouTube channel. Find him on the Smoke and Ape here on YouTube. Thanks for being here, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got to be the Canadians. <laughs> they do what they want, whatever. The 2250 watts. That's just party. They don't throw smoke in the air. The Canadians, they throw fire up there. Man, no joke. It's a lot of wattage. <laughs> 2250. I don't think 1500 is enough. Let's go 2250. Let's see if he can hear us and be nice. And I, I do not want to get skunked. That never wants, you never want that to happen, but it happens <laughs> too much. But CQ Worldwide was fun. That was a ball. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. It's good to see you. You are a, you're a legend on YouTube, man. It's an honor that you're here to me. Thank you. Try and tighten up the band with a little bit. You know, let's just move up. We'll try a CQ call at 7173 if it's open, and then we'll be done because, you know, you can do what you can do. And I'd rather not be on 40. I'd rather be on 20 this time of day just because it's going to work better. So let's just, yeah, I'll do this for Europe. I don't think you'll hear me on it, Anton, but we'll try. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Yeah, there's someone there. That's why generals can play. Sorry about that. Should have went up higher. Is this frequency open? Kilo 7 Hotel November. Checking frequency availability, kilowatt seven, Hotel November. CQ, CQ on 40, K7, Hotel November, Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ, CQ from the state of Oregon and streaming here on YouTube's Ham Radio Live, Kilo 7, Hotel November, Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. 
Yeah, I didn't think so, Anton, but we g- I gave it a shot for you, man. Yeah. We gave it a shot. All right, let's just one more time go up to 14 megahertz. We'll see if maybe that someone can hear us, and that'd be cool to end the show with something. You don't want to get skunked, but it's ham radio. It's just the way it goes sometimes. It's right about where that DX net is, which is, again, if you if you work 20, gray line. Okay, contest. Yeah, he's working in Japan. Denmark, Florida, Whiskey 6 Radio, Denmark, Florida, Kanto. Okay. Tiki Japan, Tiki Japan, Whiskey 6 Radio, Denmark, Florida, Whiskey 6 Radio, Denmark, Florida, Kanto. Well, there you go. So, and again, you're, you're, you're on, you know, you're on a contest weekend and it is, you know, a contest weekend. And uh, unfortunately they kind of stink because they hold up the frequencies and, you know, they, they try and make calls to other places sometimes instead of working, you know, the U S they're trying to work Asia and that's cool. Some people are really competitive that way. Nothing wrong with that. Weekends are tough to do like CQ shows because the bands are typically full of people who are trying to do different things. And, those things are what we're trying to do. Dog guy, it ain't fair at all. I don't care what anybody says. Just ain't fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Well, we had fun. And, you know, again, a good tool, and I found it to work for me every time, is to check a web STR, to listen, make your call, check frequency availability, and listen. You know, uh, try areas that are near you within 500, 600, 700 miles. If you're on, you know, daytime and 40 meters, Not, you know, during the day on, on 20, try and go a thousand miles out. Wherever a thousand miles is from you, listen, see if you can hear yourself. Move up to 17, do the same thing. Right about a thousand to 1500 miles out, listen, and you'll be surprised what you hear. You'll find even you know, how well your radiation pattern works. You can find, oh, I work more to the south. Like, for example, I tend to work better to the southwest towards New Zealand and Australia, tons of calls down there, than I do to Japan, where I've also made a lot of calls. But my signal tends to go stronger southwest. It also tends to go better for me southeast towards Florida and Georgia and Texas. That's the way it works. So find out how your antenna works. It's a good way to do it. Folks, we're going to skoodaddle, and I want to thank you for coming. I'm sorry we didn't make a call today. I feel terrible about that. I know the antenna's working. It's worked well for CQ Worldwide. It's just not today. That's the way it goes. Mike, by the way, this is our map guy. He's a brilliant dude. He, he really works hard. He activates parks on the air, and he works so hard. And, Mike, it's great to have you. Thanks for coming. His call sign, Kilo Delta 2, CRX Ray Delta. Hello, Larry, and everyone on the stream. Just Go in for another POTA adventure and Aries training today. Good for you, Mike. And you know what's interesting about Mike? Let me tell you. Mike is also a general studying to become an extra, and he's going to get that license. Mike, thanks for coming. All right, we're going to close. I want to thank you for coming. We'll have a show tomorrow and hopefully uh, work out some ICOM gear to try and send out. I still need to send this stuff out to Canada and, and, and UK. Larry's been slow at the post office, but we'll get there. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Live. It's about ham radio and getting you into the hobby. Our hope is that we could do that. Again, ham radio, I've always said, is like fishing. And and it's a kind of a tough spot that I'm in because we had set up a directional antenna to be here and working. But when my brother's health, you know, became an issue, we thought of moving about, a, you know, 1,200 miles southwest into Phoenix. There was no sense in putting up a six-foot tower on the roof and then the urban beam on top, so we had a directional. It made no sense. So, because the weather turns bad here in October, you know, you have to wait till spring to get it set up. So, that's what we have to do. We have to wait till spring. So, we're using verticals until then, and we'll make the most out of what we can. But in the meantime, it's still fun to do ham radio. Contact a radio club, for example, the American Radio Relay League at www.arrl.org. Hit the Contact Us bar, let them know where you're at, and they'll find a radio club near you that you can contact and find out more about ham radio. And they'll even help you get licensed. They will. All right, until next time, until we meet again, a beautiful sign-off. This comes from the Philippines. We've played it before. The music is beautiful. Hope you enjoy it. My name's Larry. My call sign's Kilo 7 Hotel November. Thank you so much for coming. It's an honor to me, and I do mean that. God bless you wherever you may be, and goodbye, everybody.
Mga kapamilya, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Georgia. That's a night that they hung an innocent.